Hey everyone, welcome to section Images and Video. In the previous section, we discussed about vector graphics. In this section, we'll learn to deal with raster graphics, images, and video using frame buffer objects for off screen drawing. Finally, we'll consider using fragment shaders for GPU based image generation and video processing. Now we move on to the first video of this section that deals with raster images. In this video, we're going to take a look at loading, drawing, creating, and saving images using OF Image class. We'll also consider using special classes for representing images, like OF Pixels and of Texture. The basic method for dealing with images in open frameworks is using objects in OF Image class. First, we'll consider its capabilities for loading and drawing image files. Let's demonstrate its capabilities. Place an image file to the data folder of the project. Declare IMG object type OF image. Load image from the file by calling method load and specifying file name. Draw image by calling its draw method and specifying the top left coordinates X and Y. Here's the result. We could tweak visible image size by specifying its width and height as third and fourth arguments. Setting color using OF color affects all channels. To draw image as is, use white color. To draw only red channel of the image, set red color. To rotate the image, use coordinate system transforms, which were discussed in the previous section. To draw only part of the image, use draw subsection method. The first four arguments specify x, y, width, and height of the drawing part. The next four arguments specify x, y, width, and height of the clipping part. In this code, X and Y coordinates of the clipping part is equal to the mouse position. And dimensions of the clipping area are half of the drawing area. So the drawing part will be double the size of the original area and depend on the mouse position. And we have zooming effect. We considered loading and drawing an image. Now let's consider creating, editing, and saving an image. To create an image, call the allocate method. It gets three arguments. width height, and image type. We're allowed three types, OF image color for RGB images, OF image color alpha for RGB images with alpha channel, OF image grayscale for grayscale images. It's possible to convert one type to another using set image type method. If we draw the image, we'll see a blank image of kind of a glitch image. The reason is we created an image, but didn't fill its pixels with colors. So we see the values which were in the memory before creating the image. To set the pixel values, use setColor method. Its arguments are X and Y coordinates of the pixel and color. In this code, we scan all pixels using for loops and set each X, Y pixel red component to X, a green component to Y, and blue component to 255. To give the signal that image was changed, we must call update method of the image. Then pixels will be transferred to the video memory and we'll see the changed image. We'll discuss this in detail a little bit later. To get the pixel values, we can use getColor method. It gets X and Y coordinates of the pixel and returns its color. This code gets pixel color at the mouse position and outputs it on the screen. We could resize and rotate by 90 degrees, mirror and crop image using its corresponding methods. To save the image, use save method and specify desired file name as its argument. If not specified the full path, then the file will be saved to the data folder of the project. Now let's discuss in detail internal representation OF image object. It consists of two equal images, object type OF pixels, which holds pixel array in RAM an object type OF texture, which represents image in video memory. OF pixels could do everything with pixels, but cannot draw its contents to the screen directly. OF texture can load image from a file or from of pixels object and draw it on the screen. The access to these objects could be achieved in such a way. In many cases, OF pixels and OF texture can be used instead of of image to eliminate this duplication. When you need to draw image from the file and don't need to change its pixels, use OF texture, like it's shown here. When you need to process pixels and don't need to draw them directly on the screen, use OF pixels. 
This code loads an image, rotates it, and saves to the disk. I encourage you to explore OF image, OF pixels, OF texture class definitions to know more about its methods that we didn't cover here. In this video, we became acquainted with OF image, OF pixels, and OF texture classes for working with raster images.